So, Chuck. Yeah. Are you on TikTok? I am. You uh, am on TikTok. You are I on TikTok. Am. Yeah, so am I. It's, it's a crazy place. Man. It, uh, it so is. much I, energy. So much energy. Lots of, uh, uh, lots of dancing. Yeah, 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 I'm not dancing on TikTok. If yeah. if I dance at all, it's the moonwalk, and that's it. That's all I'm giving okay. you. Okay, all right. That, that's all I'm giving you. Uh, yeah. So someone once asked me, or, or commented on that they didn't want people to be afraid of turbulence on an airplane, and they wanted you to know that the airplane moving in turbulence is not any different from sort of like uh, uh, the the fruit that would be in a, in Jello. Right, uh -huh. because all the air moves together, and it just right. moves the the fruit with it, and so you shouldn't worry that the whole airplane is going to break apart. I okay? I'm just going to say, um, I understand that premise, and it doesn't comfort me at all. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. So, so okay. So I so I ref, I reflected on this in my reply, right. but I thought I'd tell you because I don't I don't want me I don't want all the good secrets to only land one place without the benefit of you hearing them, because I, so, I appreciate it. I so I appreciate much enjoy it. your feedback. And so, next time I see a plane crash, I will think, oh, look at that. Somebody <laughs> dropped the jello. <laughs> so I kind of made that same point. If the turbulence, if the turbulent cell is larger than the airplane, All right. then the entire airplane will move with the turbulence and not rip off the wings. Right. Okay? However. However. There's the, there it is. However. There, okay. there we go. If That's you have, what you know. If That's you, what you know it's coming. To, to, if you have... <laughs> to, if the, if the, the size scale of the turbulent pockets is smaller than the airplane, then the airplane itself will get torqued out of any way it wants to be. Mm -hmm. With one wing being flipped upwards or downwards or or the middle up or down, the front versus the back, the tail fin. And so uh, that would be very stressful on the airplane. Right. And, and in this tech talk, the person said, everything is fine in turbulence. Um, you can say that for the planes that survived. But you can't interview anyone who's dead on the ground about right. the turbulence that did not take out the airplane. Yep. That's all I'm saying there. I, so, now, in addition, it's one thing to move the little piece of fruit in the jello. By the way, who still makes that dish? <laughs> That's very 1966, right? Well, apparently the person who made that TikTok <laughs> was in a nursing home when they did so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here's the thing. So, obviously, the, the, the peach cubes are smaller than the total jiggle factor. Not a right. problem. Okay. However, turbulence is moving the airplane when you're going through this turbulence. Okay. Okay? And the airplane has an airfoil that is responding to the moving air. Are we together? I'm with you. Okay. If you are in that airplane, but you're not attached to the airplane. Uh-huh then the airplane can move around you. That's right. Unlike the fruit in the jello. Unlike the fruit in See? the jello. So now what you need to do is think about the fruit in the jello. Uh, instead of being supported by the jello, it it just has a small apartment inside okay, Inside the jello, the jello okay? <laughs> and you got table settings and things. Right. You're, you're sitting around with your water for the crystal that you just put down because you're having a fancy meal because some other peach cubes are coming over from their little pocket in the jello. Right, right. And so you shake the jello, okay? The peach cubes flies up and hits the its head on the ceiling of your jello pocket. That's okay. Right. So if you're not attached to the plane, the plane can drop in elevation. Yes. Faster than your body will respond. And you will snap your neck on the ceiling of the plane. That's right. Okay? Yeah. Just saying here. So that's why when they enter turbulence, the pilot gets on and says, uh, passengers, we need you to put on your seatbelt. Because uh, when you and gentlemen of the plane, uh, this is your captain speaking. Just want to let you know that we're in for a little bit of a bumpy ride ahead. Uh, 
Well, it's nothing to be worried about, but uh, if you do believe in God, now's your time <laughs> to talk to him. Good time. <laughs> <laughs> this would be the ideal time <laughs> to, to kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> make peace with your maker make and kiss your ass maker. goodbye. All right, so you put on your seatbelt, and what does that then do, based on all the vo the language I've been using thus far? What does that do? It ties you to the jello. Thank you. It makes you part of the airplane. So when the airplane jiggles up and down, you're moving with the jello. That's right. So uh, so that's that's the only point here that I want to make about you being jiggling in, inside of a jello. Now, we hear about these brave folks who are flying airplanes into hurricanes. Okay? You know I about have that? not heard about these brave folks. Well, they do this all the time. Who are Noah these people? It. No, I know. <laughs> who are these people? Crazy people. these people? <laughs> All right. Noah, Noah has a Noah, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, has special airplanes just for this purpose. Okay, right. They fly into a hurricane, and you say, "Oh my gosh!" No, here's the, here's why you think hurricanes would be bad for airplanes. Okay, it's because you see the effects of hurricanes on stationary objects. <laughs> right. <laughs> on the ground, you see the effect of a hurricane on your roof on the gas station canopy, on the boats, okay? Right. The air on a Category 5 hurricane is moving 200 miles an hour in a circle. Your plane, most planes going 500 miles an hour, okay? So you can take your plane, fly 200 miles an hour adjacent to it, step into the moving air, and now you now you can just you're getting a little bit of a, a, a push. getting a boost getting a boost yeah. now you can go 500 miles an hour relative to the earth 250 miles an hour relative to the hurricane right okay and you just in the air you make your measurements and then you come out and you're fine look at that so it's just not as hazardous as you might think unless while you're in the airplane you see like Dorothy's house or something coming up I was going to say yeah you get so, hit with debris yeah. Right. Uh, that, if you get that hit with a cow, <laughs> the cow. <laughs> you get hit with a cow, you know. <laughs> that one, you're flying too low, or two, man, this is a hell of a hurricane. <laughs> Holy. Right. If you see Dorothy and Auntie M, right. Right. You, you, right. So it's why the plane is the safest thing you could be a part of. That's why seatbelts matter uh, yeah. on an airplane. Uh, that's all. And so what about, so I, I'm sure at some point during uh our aviation history, planes were not uh, constructed to withstand turbulence, air yeah. pockets. In, in fact, it, you know what they did um, until recently, until they trusted computer simulations of the airplane you just invented. There's something called, uh, there's a, uh, there's a uh, in the stage of every brand new airplane, um, they want you to bend the wings until they break. Gotcha. Okay, so they have the plane, the prototype plane, and they put it in the hangar, and they attach these 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 uh, cables to the wingtips. Okay, and they hold down the airplane, and they start lifting up the tips, and they're measuring what angle, how high up the tip can go, until the tip completely breaks the wing off the airplane, and that's an important measurement for how much turbulence the plane can withstand where the turbulent pockets are smaller than the plane itself right now we have very good simulations of the metal and stress points and i think today they're allowing them to submit uh, computer simulations of the breakage points but you've been on an airplane looked out the window and see the wings look like they're flapping right when it's really windy and turbulent you've seen this well you i was i was i was on a dragon honestly oh so. <laughs> <laughs> so you trained your dragon, yeah. Right. <laughs> no, so the, so the wingtip it, it, it jiggles and it looks like oh my gosh it's going to break off. Right. But no, they've tested it way beyond the normal um, uh, turbulent conditions under which you would ever experience it in a flight on your own. Uh, it's kind of like um, struts and shock absorbers in a car. You, you 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 can hit a pothole and you just keep on going, but there's always that one pothole that breaks your A-frame, and then you're just like oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, yeah, but the good thing about that is that you're still on the ground. <laughs> I was going to say, they don't have AAA in the sky. <laughs> right, 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 right. A, the, a car whose engine fails is just something that gl glides off the side of the road. An airplane whose engine fails is, is, a, is a glider 
Uh, if it's a if helicopter, you're lucky. It's, it's, if it's a brick, right? You got to watch out for that. So. You know, you said that once before because I we were talking about, this was years ago, but we were talking about I took a plane ride with uh, his, uh, I don't know if he's an astrophysicist, he's a physicist. A Cirrus, that's the name of the plane, has a parachute in it. <laughs> and it, yeah, it's really cool. But, you know, first of all, let me just say that did not inspire confidence in me <laughs> when he told me while we're up in the air, oh, you know that uh, this plane actually has a parachute in it. Uh, is it and, like one parachute, not two? Okay. <laughs> well, the parachute is for the whole plane. You know? Oh! Yeah, the plane itself has a, pla a parachute. That is low confidence in your own engineering. That's by what the I'm way. saying. <laughs> wow. wow. But, um, 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 he said something to me about flying uh, while we were up there. Uh, I said, um, so what do, you, what, do you, what do you think about helicopters? Because he, he's like aviation nut. And he was like, well, I, I, I really don't appreciate helicopters because they don't as much fly as they do beat the air into submission. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> yeah. So, Chuck, uh, we got to wrap it there. Okay. That's the turbulence in the air. Nice. What he's saying is that the helicopter creates turbulence. Right. right. And, yeah, yeah. and it's whatever. Yeah. He's like, that's not flight. It's like, basically, it's, you know, it's using turbulence as a way to stay a, stay afloat, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Actually, if the wings are properly designed, it's a laminar flow. rather. The turbulence is an actual official term in right. fluid dynamics that you don't want something to be turbulent. It's hardly ever good in your situation for right. airflow to be turbulent. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Laminar. But laminar. Anyhow, I like that. Ooh, laminar's a cool Laminar's word. flow. Yeah. You know. Laminar means it's the air flows in layers smoothly over the surface and the air pocket, the air does not leave the surface of the uh, object it's moving over. Because if it does, then it creates a partial vacuum, right. and then air just rapidly goes right. into that partial and vacuum. That's when you see the air, swir the air the swirling. swirling. Correct. And that's turbulence. Correct. You don't want that, right? You don't want that, right. Yeah. Right. But I Usually love it creates drag on what you're doing. Right. And mm -hmm. laminar flow is like a cool, cool. I'm waiting to hear that in a rap song. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you right no, now. No, no, no. It's, it's a new age song. Laminar flow. Yeah, but it's see, a, it's rappers a, are always talking about their flow. So, you oh, know what I mean? oh, yeah, oh, it's just like okay, I spit okay. the rhythm of the rhymes. You know, y'all gotta respect my laminar flow, like you know, oh, I, oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> something like that. That sucked, but you know what I'm saying. No, that was good. That was <laughs> okay. on the spot. That was good. <laughs> All right, dude, we got to right. call it quits there. That was been another explainer. We we're, we're talking about Jello uh, and turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> Only on Star Talk. <laughs> Only on Star Talk. All right. Neil deGrasse Tyson here, your personal astrophysicist. Keep looking up.